the the next part, the next arc of uh, uh, Terrace House uh, came out. And this is this is just as a reminder. This is the one that's taking place up in the woods near Nagano, um, and it's 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 during the winter. And uh, the first two parts of this arc of Terrace House has been like kind of slow, not much going on. But then this is the craziest. Now I've watched three seasons of this. This is the craziest arc ever, where people start getting together, people kiss on first dates. What the f- what? What? I'm not gonna say who, but someone kisses someone. That is some raunchy out shit out of nowhere, and this is like maybe their, their second date. That's disgusting. So you might as well have just eaten, ate her ass out. Yeah. In the taxi. Fucking home. lewd. So holding hands. And what do you think happens during this kiss? Like, what do you think the actual reaction was? Somebody shits their pants. The camera gets all up in their shit. So. The girl that she she got kissed, she's just like, "Oh no, it's Dio." Was it her then, first? No. Okay, because no. that's that's she's had dates before. That's huge. She's had relationships before. They go back to the house and they're like, "Hey, everyone, we're back from our date." Oh, they see that the uh, fireplace is um, doesn't have. Like, let's put the let's start the fireplace up. It's a little cold. And then the girl's like, "Yeah, let's do that." And she's putting. Like wood in, and then she's looking at the rest of the cast, and she's looking like I'm being kidnapped. Please save me, but she can't say anything. So she's like, "The social pressure, it's too." And much. And then she just kind of, that's it, and that's the the, the weird part. And then she's like, "Oh yeah, he kissed me," and they're like, "What?" Eh, eh. That's like, that's constant a constant ma- episode. Of eh. That's a massacre right there. You Lots fucking- of massacres. I was I was. Thrown for a loop, fell off the bed. That, Full on back that, in a... that culture. That culture is <laughs> fucked, and and that culture is going to disintegrate. It it <laughs> it was it was crazy, and then like a horrible person left, and we're so glad when they did because a new hotness came in. A Graver model joined. They got real. They got real. Oh, yeah. She's like, "Hi guys, my name is this," and she meets the two guys that are in the house. She's like, "Oh, I'm gonna go take a bath. See ya." And oh. then they're whatever, and the guys are like. And they go on their phones, and then they show them on their phones, and they're zooming in pictures of her like yeah, shots, yeah, 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 and they're yeah. like, and they're zooming in and out like on her chest. They're like, oh. <laughs> it was a crazy, oh, crazy shit. It's, all these art soap land. They get released on Netflix eight episode chunks mm-hmm. every three four months. So I have to wait three four months to see what but else. Then you happens. can chunk it. I can chunk it. For eight episodes, and this was the craziest, like, I've actually seen. Like, even if it wasn't uh, Terrace House where it's, like, slow and plotting and, like, why is the country like this? It still had a lot of crazy shit just in general. Like, oh, you're going to go there. Oh, like, random kisses. Oh, shit. Okay. Now this happened. This You left. You came back. You're a Graver model. Like, it was a really fun time. It's like, it's, it's almost like you're describing Tokyo Mirage Sessions sometimes. In terms of just like the well, TMS is true to life. What is happening culturally here? Yeah, yeah, it's true. Um, but in the downtime, and I it, this uh, just came to my attention that it was never we never brought it to to air. Mm. In the downtime, you could always fill the the, the non terrace house with naked and afraid. You could <laughs> because did we? I don't think we touched. I don't think we brought it. Uh, we we briefly. briefly upon it a little in the last session of TMS, but uh, we didn't go full blown. We should. It's it's a good bit. So fucking. If you want to at Evo, like start that. just like so. Here's that you think you think. Oh, going to going to fucking Vegas town. We with, have to kill time, so we're in the in the room and we're watching well, TV. Well, well, okay, but that's also the that's also the way you live. Yeah. That's the style of of Matt and Leanna is no nah, no nah, partying all the time though not really reality TV what's yeah, going on America much. and fucking what sit- you got for us this time sitting around drinking awful vodka watching naked and afraid that's bad vodka and and fucking like <laughs> like I'm like what's the deal I've heard about yeah, this you're show like, you're like okay what, what you what? got what is this and it's like okay so no what you have to understand is yes it's random people sitting in the jungle. For 21 days trying to survive. Cool. What do they win? Fucking nothing. You get nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Oh, wait. Your stats raise. Your numbers go up. 
right? They give you a fucking breakdown where the, your number literally like, go up. Are you in the military? Then they're going to start you off at a five. Do you oh. have any type of survival expertise? Then they'll they'll be like, okay, you're a 6.1. No, seriously, what do they win? That's what they win. Fucking nothing. They win an increase. Okay, a couple days in or the whatever. numbers go up is what I they win. I don't want. understand. Shit gets rough. Cut to literal flashback of family, family, family. Of them filming, this woman? filming their kids and their husband on that the playground. they left behind, pushing their kids and going, "Oh, I gotta do it for them. I gotta do it." It's like, nah, you're missing out on their first fucking uh, uh, dance recital That's right now. Birthday. To prove what the whole family's like, you don't have to do this, and they're like, "Nah, I'm doing it though." No, to prove I'm strong. Why do you have to jump that shark, Fonzie? We honed it down. We said the people watch this show and go. I can do that. Then they go do that. Like that's that's, that's how they get them. I can prove that I'm a tough guy or a tough lady, and, and the, that's it. Stupid. And so the big thing, because because again, like I'd seen like naked dating, so I'm like, what what? How does this relate to the trilogy of of naked and afraid and naked dating? And where do you go yeah, from there? Yeah. And like it's always, oh. and then what you end for up for whatever seeing, reason, right? the episodes that we watched that la- that night were. When they start off with a guy and a girl, the guy Always. goes. The guy goes like, "Man, quitting's not in my DNA. I'd rather die than quit." Five whoa, days whoa, whoa. later, and then, he, and then he goes like, "What did you pick? I picked the bow and arrow. Yeah, Everyone I'm gonna hunt to some meat." Items. And then you just fucking cut to the guy going, "Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> a doctor comes over and says, this dude has fucking malaria. Your gangrene is kicking in. Why did you drink shit? Why did you drink actual shit? Yeah. Maybe you shouldn't have drank shit and then spread shit in your wound. And then fucking... I bet it was clear water. <laughs> and like... Cut to a helicopter. A helicopter airlifting dude away. You're going to die if we don't... Fuck. In every single episode, guys were like b- with this big dick energy yeah. walking in. The bigger, and, the buffer, the guy. Remember that big buff dude? Jacked. That, like he's like after day two, he's like, I can't do this. I'm like, cause you're a big stupid asshole and you need <laughs> thousands of calories. And he's like, and he's like, no, girl, you don't go in the water. The water's too rough. Yeah. Like we got to do this together. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna watch out what for you. Have? I'm gonna he protect had, you. He had, like he's gonna get like intestinal. He failure. fucking ate some shit and then he was like, oh, and then. He couldn't walk anymore, and yeah, his feet his swole feet, up. His foot, ah, and then up. and then the girls just like you fucking idiot. What did you do? And he's like, oh. If someone quits the show, the other person has to do it by themselves. Oh, it's fuck. incredibly oh, rough, and most people so, don't like, do it. But every five woman on this five, show did it. Five for five episodes we watched ended with girl alone doing the next twenty days because the first one the guy fucking ditched. And then they're just like, well, I'll do 20 days alone then. And it's just nothing happening as they sh- sit in the jungle shaking <laughs> as it rains for 20 days. And occasionally they, like, stick their head out. And then it cuts to, like, a tiger in the fucking, like, it's just, a b- different environment. It's just B-roll, right? But they stick their head out of a pile of fucking bushes. And it cuts to a tiger being like, mm, what's going on over there? And then, like, a bear is like, I- who's that? What's go- What's part, that? Part right? of reality TV's <laughs> like like journey into total fantasy is like amazing to me. They hand them a map and they go like, "All right, you got to get to the waypoint." There's a frog on the map. Like, take a right at the frog asshole. A left at the fucking like, yeah, exactly, right? Piranhas, little piranha graph. Like, it's clip art from like fucking 1996. And just you never know when they're gonna splice a B-roll ferocious animal roar or yeah. shot. So do you remember that the girl tra- that was like, travel. "I tried to do South Africa," yeah, and like my guy that I was with quit. And then I had to do like 12 more days and I had to quit because like there was no fucking water. Yeah, yeah. So then on this next episode, she's like, I'm coming back to do it again because I didn't get to complete it the first time. Right. I sure hope my male partner doesn't quit. He quits in four days. (laughs) And then she's like, fuck me. And you don't even pick something useful. And then she does it. And you don't even pick something useful like the pot. Or a fire maker. Why would you not pick a pot? You or, need it to boil water. You need water. the pot, Absolutely. you need the fire maker. If you pick a fucking bow and arrow or or like a knife or, you know what I mean? Like some shit to be like, nah, I'm cool guy though. I'm a fucking hunt it up. And you just die immediately. Almost They're all, left with your shit and they can't do anything All of it. those other tools can be substituted with a stick 
or a rock. Which yeah, you right? can't find and make. Those are around, right? Or you could use a stick and a rock to make approximates. But a pot means, oh god, you need, at best, you need the right type of mud in your area that you can make fucking clay. You need fucking sediment to firm it up. You need a fucking proper fireplace with a kiln that you have to build to make one pot. Wasn't wasn't the only guy that you guys were talking about that like that you saw that did it was like just this huge fat dude that just like this nerd that just sat there. <laughs> it's like that, I can take it. He just went. I can fucking sit here. Yeah, they had water, so he's like, I'm fat. I'm just gonna sit here. As long as I can drink water, that's fine. I'll just live off my fat. And he fucking did it for like at least like two weeks. No help. And, and no he help just, at all. He just laid in their hut. And then, like, in the last two days, the producers are, like, kicking him. And they're, like, fucking get up and do something. <laughs> and he's, like, fine. So we said, what if there was, like, a nerd version of, like, this where you have to take people with absolutely no skill? Oh, like my me. God. Or, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm straight. I told him straight up. I'm, like, what do you bring into the table, Wooly? I brought my Switch. And I'm going to just sit here. Turn You're going to have the first four I've, hours. I brought my switch. Turn the brightness on max. Turn the brightness up. HD rumble. Max volume and separate those Joy-Cons so I can fucking swing it. And I'm going to just be here you're in playing, the fucking... You're playing way of the Hado <laughs> on Ultra Street. I'm going to just sit here using all the battery I can to fucking do my Hados at the screen, which is propped up. Volume up. That's me. I brought my switch. And that is just like... <laughs> That's what when I a guy do. is like, man, quitting's not in my DNA, and he just gets like congenital heart failure in the plane, and the plane just comes, yeah, yeah. and then turns back around, and, and so, the, the girl's like, oh fuck. Wait, we have so we have. There's a moment in every in the episodes where the two partners meet for the first time, and so they walk through the forest, they strip off their clothes, and then they shake hands and go, hey, nice to meet you, let's survive. And we're just saying like, on the way to the handshake, just like cut to the hand, like the hand coming out, like, and then it just falls, and right then. Before. <laughs> Helicopter. <laughs> just he's out. He's done. He's done. Nope. Sorry. <laughs> Got gangrene just by standing there. Like just passes out and falls past them, anime style. I don't There's, know. I don't know if either of you would appreciate uh, this because it's a completely different tone. It's like pure dryness with no dialogue. But there's a YouTube channel that I'm a big fan of called Primitive Technology. Oh, yeah. I, I'm, I, I'm you, you, I sub to that. To him. Yeah. Man, it, it's so fucking cool. Yeah, it is. I think the guy's Australian or New Zealand. Dude made a fucking, like, like tent with a, a moat. Yeah, he's just some fucking Out of nothing. guy who goes into a forest near where he lives, I guess. Yep. With shorts. Just make shit. That's what he brings. He brings his shorts and his video camera, and he builds himself a little life out there. It's amazing. And he shows off how you make all these fucking ancient tools with your hands. He's got 8 billion subs, though. Oh, like, like Yeah, that, well, like, he deserves free, it. I mean, he just does it. You watch something like that, and you're like, you're going to be fine. Yeah. <laughs> Like no matter no matter what happens, you're you're, you're gonna well because it's like you're dig. He shows you how to make a nice brick and then the mortar for it. So you're like, oh, I can just make anything yeah. in any situation. If there's ground underneath me and I can shovel it up, rocks are powerful. I can make a fucking brick and just make a nice house. Like it was nuts. Yeah. Also, when you're a vegan on this show, it's like quit. Oh God, you're done. You're gonna fucking forage you, for berries for twenty one days. Your moral. Uh, your moral standings are noble and appreciated, mm. but they are naive in a survival situation. You see a guy just eating like a, a, an iguana, and the other person is crying because <laughs> they're so ha fucking hungry because there's nothing to eat but animals. In New Zealand, we were doing a hike, and the, the, the person who was like showing us the trail walks up to a bush and goes, this right here, bush? Pain bush. Right? This is awesome. If you're if you're a hiker and you're, and you're lost and you, you need to survive, you can pick this leaf off right here and eat it. Tastes kind of sweet. This will get you all the energy you need. You can just sit here at this bush and pick it. However, on the same bush is a different kind of leaf. You eat this, dead in an hour. Instantly. And it's like, you just have to know. You just have to know the lay of the, lay, lay of the land and figure it out. Or I can eat that rabbit! <laughs> or you could eat the fucking rabbit. Oh, turtle? Yeah, bye. You know, like... Outrun this rock, fucker! Like, straight up, I'm looking at a bush, and there's two leaves on it, and it's like, this is the life bush, this is death. The death bush. Fuck you. Okay. Survive. Get ready. 
Go! Go! <laughs> and, it, and if you eat the right leaf, it'll say time extended. <laughs> and if you don't, it'll say nothing. Decide the destiny. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> so, yeah, that's good. Yep. That's a good song. There you go. Naked and Afraid. That sounds like a mess. There's what? also Naked and Afraid XL, <laughs> which is several tribes of people oh, living nearby. Right. And they're like, we're the, 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 the whatever, like... Uh, <laughs> original name of the the area that they're in tribe and then see yeah. i would i would watch that based on one condition <laughs> whether or not they filmed it in a place with no law because if they filmed it in a place with no law that'd be a really interesting show uh yeah it's called um lord of the flies you can go watch it i want it to be fucking real wooly um also you love the fact that the, there was like one episode the girl is a uh lesbian cop and then the guy that she teams with is like a preacher from like yeah yeah Utah. yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> yes. I wonder what the, what's happen. gonna happen. Then the fucking the pair ups are oh, all zany. the most like hijinksy and what exactly. So I'm just like so imagine they reveal it's like this guy's a Klansman from the deep south. Yeah. Who's his partner gonna, gonna be? be? I wonder who. Question mark. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, out of like. A couple seasons. That's yeah. the only one where I'm like, okay, come on. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. they got along really well. And he's like, wow, you opened up my eyes, lesbian cop. Yeah. See, that's the ideal, right? Is then they came out and they were bestie frenzies. They were. Yeah. Um, I, I need... Then there was that one crazy lady that said, "I'm going to kill you." To... <laughs> To the partner, right, and the right, producers right. are like, "You gotta go, bitch." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's like, "What? What I do?" And then you're like, the low tier god of this reality show. And then she's like being brought away, and then she's like back at her place in like the deep south, and she's like, "Whatever, I would have done it, but my partner was a pussy." Yeah. You were asked to yeah. leave because you threatened someone's life. Yeah, because they're pussies, man. I'll kill them. No, like I said, we, I just need... Especially I, those of you in the jury. Especially those of you in the We just jury. need the guy who's, like, dying and, and about to get lifted onto the helicopter being like, I used to be clothed and brave, but now... <laughs> the guy that gets carried away in the helicopter by day five is the one that started off by saying... Dot, like I'd rather die than quit. Wow. And when you see them get carried off, the next thing you see is their fucking stat sheet, and then the number Bro, just number goes. Go <laughs> Your survival rating drops. Yeah, yeah. You're a fucking punk. You're make, a bum. make sure this is the the section that you cut out. For sure. The YouTube channel. Sure. I fucking love this. Nice and isolated.